Hi, I'm Janos. Back for another video on my channel's analytics. This is the second video in the series of my small channel's journey to monetization on YouTube that I am making for people that are in the same situation as me, going to work every day and dreaming of getting monetized on YouTube one day. Today I decided to walk to work, but in the morning I was in a hurry and I was not able to record. So I took a walk mainly because I am still figuring out how to have a good audio and I didn't really like how the audio turned out while driving in my car. And second because I got this gimbal for myself and I used this opportunity to test it. Maybe I will do a tutorial about the DJI Osmo Mobile in the future. But let's get back to the video topic. I'm interested in getting my channel monetized because I like to create videos. I like to spend time with my family and getting monetized would mean that having a small passive income that would enable me to quit my job and free up my day so I can spend more time on what I like. For now, I'm learning a lot from the analytics between each upload. Last time I have shared with you my analytics and I had 81 subscribers and a little over 55 hours of watch time from 3400 views since then i have posted two videos one is about how to get the script from any youtube video and convert the text into an outline so you can have a starting point on what to talk about in your video if you want to make it around the same subject the second video is a sound effects pack that contains over 100 worse sounds that you can use to increase the engagement on your videos i have linked them both in the show notes so you can check them out yourself if you please the analytics I'm going to show you today are from the last 7 days. This is the period from when I posted the last video in this series until now. So in the past 7 days I've gained 428 views, 11 watch time hours and 6 new subscribers. So thank you! I know the growth might seem small, but all the arrows are colored green and pointing up. So I think my channel made another small step towards the journey of monetization, so I'm happy with that. The total stats for my channel now are 4,500 views and 88 live subscribers. This live subscribers metric is the difference between subscribers gained and subscribers lost. Because since I started the channel, I gained a total of 104 subscribers, but lost 16 subscribers. I think that losing only 15% is way better than losing an average of 25%, what happens usually to larger channels. And that's for watch time the channel gains 61 watch hours. Now in order to monetize this channel, I need 1000 subscribers and 4000 watch hours. So 88 subscribers is not close and even 61 hours is not close to 4000 watch hours. But for now I'm focusing on uploading more videos and to improve the quality of my videos for each upload. I believe that the metrics will continue to increase as I continue to upload videos consistently. On the improvement side, I will continue to make videos in this series with little to no editing and for my other videos I'm thinking of either reducing the editing on my other videos too or to collaborate with a video editor so I can maintain to upload consistently. For editing my videos I still use Final Cut Pro which I think is a huge improvement over iMovie. Sometimes I use the Captions app to add AI generated background music or to fix my eye movements while reading the script on the camera. Nowadays I'm thinking to switch to CapCut because it has so many new features also for phone and tablet. This would enable me to edit on the go especially for when I'm traveling. Maybe I will make some tutorials one day. Let me know in the comments if you would like to see this kind of content about Capcom. Now the other thing I would like to be doing this week is to check all my long form videos and try to optimize the titles, the descriptions and clean up the cross captions for the videos that I forgot to do so. For optimizing my videos I use an app called vidIQ and if you want to check it out, I will put an affiliate link in the description for you. If you are even more curious about vidIQ, I have some great videos on my channel explaining its features and how I use them. You can check them out on my channel if you please after watching this video. I'm telling you all of this because I think there are more YouTubers and there is more to YouTube than simply just upload new content. I'm also looking into other areas that I can improve my channel to be appealing for new viewers. So for this I changed my channel logo to a picture of my Myself, and I have removed both my channel trainer videos. This was the one that was always playing when you visited my channel page. I also created a playlist as a container for this video series 
and at the bottom of my page I have added other channels that I follow and take inspiration from. So if you visit my channel page you can see them at the bottom if you scroll down. Now that's it for this week. I'm happy and positive with the results and the growth of my small channel. Thanks for tuning in and if you haven't already please consider subscribing and give me a thumbs up if you like this video. And if you're in a similar situation as me, write me in the comments below how was your past week on YouTube. Ciao!